my new Levu. I've had a little play with it. I've got one hack on the bottom so far. I've got some, I don't know, well, six inch loop of paracord on the bottom for the pegs to just lift it off the ground a little bit and make it slightly wider. But yeah, there's a few things I don't like about it. Let's go inside and have a look. First off, I don't like the pegs that come with it, they're rubbish. But I think I just make wooden pegs when I'm out in the woods. Chimney coming up there, so perfect for the winter. Hot stove. Nice and cosy on the inside. Just got enough room. The other thing I don't like is this pole. So I'm thinking I can make a piece of rope to carry with the Levu the right length. I could probably make it two inches higher because I've got those extension ropes on the ends. So I think that'll work then. I think it'll be a lovely setup. One other thing to show you. Still got the original ticket on it, made in 1977, which is brilliant, but obviously I'll be taking that off. Just wanted to show you that. There you go, 1977. Now this one's interesting. It's the three Levu ponchos buttoned together. Gives it much like a like a plow point with a three by three tarp. It's Gives it a lot of space, I reckon you could get sleep three adults. And look at it from the side. You could mess around with the central pole, have that a bit lower so as it spread out a little bit more. And that would give you even more cover. Yeah, I think it's interesting. Probably too much for a one man. And it's you know goes up quite high, so not quite so um, stealthy. But yeah, let's keep playing, see what else we can do. I like this one, it's my favourite configuration so far. That's a outside tripod, as you can see, and uh, gives it so much more room with no, no centre pole. Yeah, loads. Yeah, I'll be quite happy in here with the the sleeping bag and a little stove going coming out of, coming out of one of these one of these armholes. Yeah, be great. Right, we're going to try a beak on the top next. Okay, got the uh, got the tripod set up, but with a beak this time using Poncho Three. I'll give you a look around. It's nice and spacious inside. room in there. Yeah I'm really liking this one, this setup. Got that rustic look to it. But yeah I think I still need to bring the whole thing that way more but I've not worked out how to do it yet. I think maybe using an A-frame and, and rope rather than having a, a tripod. A tripod's good for the standard TP shape but I don't think it works so well with a beak. But you know I'm having fun. It's good to, good messing about with it. It's great fun. Well I've had a couple of nights in this one in this configuration at the Levu so I think it's time for a change. Put some wooden pegs in place of the metal ones and that's really tensioned up the sides and given me a bit more space inside, which is great. So I think I'm going to 
try how a single poncho would work now. So let's set that up. Right, set up as a single lavu. Not as spacious as I thought it would be. But yeah, I can just about fit in here. But I think I'd be happier with the with the beak on the front or with the you know the other half of the lavu set up above so I can have a fire here and stay sheltered out of the rain in case there's a wild night. So yeah, let's play around with the beak and see what it looks like with that on. Right, I've put a beak on the front and yeah, it gives me a bit more of an area to cook in if it's raining or if I want to be sheltered from the sun. But um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's quite fiddly. There's a lot to learn about these lavoos. Yeah, I think maybe the, the beak could be set up quite a lot flatter than what it is. I'll show you around the side in a minute. But yeah, it's another different setup anyway, a little play. I shall sleep it sleep in this tonight and uh, see how I get on with it. But yeah, not bad, not bad. Now I've got the beak up. Show you it from the side. This was lower down and just lower down onto the top of the first half it would give me more protection. So yeah, next time, next time. The final setup I'm gonna do is a three-legged internal tripod. But I want to make a template for this one out of rope. So I think firstly I'm gonna take the centre pole and Put a loop on the bottom of the rope and a knot at the top so as I know how long to make a stick to replace this because it's pretty wobbly and it's extra weight. I just will cut a stick in the woods and I can leave this at home. Also, because I've got these ropes tied onto my eyelets on the bottom of my uh, my lavu, I know that this needs to be two inches longer. So I've played around with it when I've had it set up before. So for my length of rope, which is about six or seven inches extra, just need that two inches extra height to make it still a geometric shape. So I'm going to do that first, and then the tripod is going to come up into tennis into a tennis ball. So I'm going to cut a, a bit of a hole on the bottom and put the three sticks into the tennis ball. I just need to know how long they are. go from the apex of the Levu, go down one of the one of the seams to the end of my rope and that will be how long I need my stick and then I can adjust it from there it may end up a little bit shorter but I'm gonna make my first stick that long so have a look what have we got have I got a stick out yeah here we go one I prepared earlier in blue peter style is going to be about an inch out of the ground where the rope notches on so I probably need another inch so I'm, I'm going to add on another two inches and see how I got on with it. So I'll cut three at that length, make the hole in the tennis ball and uh, see what it looks like. So I've got the A-frame set out with my uh, guesstimate of the length of the poles but I haven't put a knot in this piece of cord yet, definitely but what I have done is I've looped this over the end of the pole that comes with the Levu and tied a knot off two inches longer so now I know that the height of the, the top of the Levu with the paracord little loops 
tied onto the eyelets is about is about right. So you can just see. Oh, I can't reach down there, but yeah. So that's my that's my height of my pyramid. So I know that I got the height right. Just a question of whether the poles are too long or too short. But they should be pretty close. I don't think it's going to matter that much. Once I've set my second knot for the length of the three poles, then uh, I shall save my bit of rope with the keep it with the levu at all times. Maybe use it as a wrap to roll them up and then use this bit of string to wrap it round. And I maybe transfer the lengths over to a really bright piece of cord which will stand out a bit more than this black. So let's put the levu on and see how it uh, see how it looks. I've buttoned them back together so it's ready to go. So let's see. set it up so as this back pole lines up with a tree behind behind you there and um, I can always add a beak on afterwards. Measurements were spot on. I've got about a two to three inch gap all the way around, which is what I like in the summer. Let's a bit of air through. If I wanted to, I could make the poles longer and have a bigger air gap there for this in the summer use, and uh, in the winter just jab them into the ground just that little bit. So I think this is my fixed length. I'm going to tie a knot in my bit of string at that, and then I'll have a loop with two knots. First knot height to the apex, second knot, length of the diagonal. That sets me up and uh, I'm just going to throw a beak on and that will be the end of my Levu setups. And I've enjoyed playing with it. It's been great fun. hope you enjoyed it too. If, uh, if it's been any use, give me a thumbs up and uh, if you want to see more of this stuff then yeah, better subscribe. Otherwise you're going to miss it. There we have it. Internal tripod with a beak. Some prosec knots so I can move it about. There you go. Got plenty of water coverage if it rains. And it's on prosec knots on this top line here. So I can always move it around. Slide it back and forwards. Or I can change the pitch of it. By uh, raising and lowering the prop. And changing the tie off. So I can have it pointing out, pointing down. So that's about it. That's about all the Levu setups I can think about. You know any more? Stick them in the comments and I'll try them out. Thanks for watching.